Alrighty. <laughs> Recording on my phone because I think my GoPro's got either low battery or low storage, one of those. But made it to Seoul, South Korea. This is going to be my second night here. I've been bouncing around. Oh, I'm starting to bounce around between hostels. Uh, it's the weekend, so things are filling up. I wasn't expecting that because it's kind of like cold and I didn't expect things to be so busy. But uh, I kind of like it. I'm only going to be here for six or seven days, so. I don't mind bouncing around and seeing different areas. The metro is really easy to use, and most hostels are really short walking distance from any station. So, yeah, just uh, gonna explore and maybe get an extra uh, long sleeve since I'm just <laughs> walking around with shorts. But uh, yeah, just gonna walk around, do walking tours, my like as in my own, <laughs> and uh, yeah, no expectations, no plan. Uh, might go to some museums and stuff since that's inside and it'll be a little warm, warmer, but yeah. Airbnb. I uh, gotta show you. Oh, let me enter the code. It's also weird. You push on the pad. desk. <laughs> Even a mirror. Like, a little window, too. It goes out to the hallway. <laughs> I got a, I got a film coming in here because it did not look correct whatsoever. <laughs> I was, yeah. I have to film that just to show you what I mean. But, yeah, I found this place on Airbnb, had no idea what to expect, and I'm a little blown away. It, it's just like a hidden away hostel tucked inside a random building. <laughs> but yeah, cool, I made it. That worked. Um, I'm surprised, because it was a long-ass train ride from the middle of Seoul to get here. But yeah, I can relax now. So, <laughs> so I'm currently in South Korea and uh, wanted to make a quick video about the Airbnb that I'm staying at and go through
go through a random door in the side of like a bunch of stores. And then go up these stairs. <laughs> I just did this, but like, and the host was like very communi like uh, communicated very well. But it's just like, I walked in for the first time. I was like, man, am I in the right place? Cause walking up this staircase, <laughs> And it seems to get darker and darker. <laughs> Through this door. <laughs> Even darker. And then bam. Light at the end of the tunnel. All of a sudden, here we are. She entered the code to get in. Nice little common kitchen area. And then these are all apparently private rooms. And I'll show you mine. And bam, here we are. And uh, I'm about to run out of video storage, but obviously I just got in, so I was in the bed earlier, but bed was made, little shower toilet with slippers. Fridge, TV, yeah, pretty sweet. Good price too, so excited. <laughs> What's up? All packed up, about to head out back to uh, the central part of the city of you know, Seoul again. Um, and uh, yeah, just, I don't know if I captured it in the video on my GoPro, but um yeah just enjoyed this little room with the shower bathroom <laughs> bed and uh little desk and everything and its own wi-fi each room has its own wi-fi router so yeah this is a nice nice surprise the price was good uh, i think 30 us and uh yeah pretty happy pretty content about to get on the train it's a long train ride um i've got to transfer i think once or twice so but yeah good stay and uh, I feel refreshed. So now I've got to, uh, yeah, go head to the next hostel and uh, probably get some, <laughs> free up some storage on my GoPro because that's like my biggest problem so far. It's just been like phone and video and GoPro are constantly filling up and I have to empty them and it's just a, just such a hassle. But anyway, 